Dan Petnato, and I'm the fraternity chef. I've been here at the college for 18 years, and I have vast restaurant hotel experience. But I've decided that I really liked it here, so I've stayed here for a long period of time. I'm going to teach you some different dishes that the brothers really like. The first one's going to be macaroni and cheese with grilled chicken and broccoli. And the second one's going to be chicken francais. And then we're going to do for the last dish a chicken parmesan the way I make it. And as my assistant today, I have one of the brothers. This is Joe Buckley. He's a senior at Trinity College. He's a co-captain on the soccer team. And he really needs some lessons cooking. So we're going to give him a quick show right now. Joe, why don't you dump the pasta in? And I'm going to work on making the cheese sauce. All right, now. We're going to work on making the sauce, too, the cheese sauce. We're going to start with a half a pound of butter. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's plenty. I think we'll make it, too. Because we have to make, so we thicken it, too. That's mm -hmm. what we're going to, I'm going to show you as we go. Okay. So we're going to turn up the heat medium level. We're going to dump about a half a cup of onions in. Now, when you're cooking pasta, you always want to disturb it because you don't want it all sticking together on you. That's a mm -hmm. big thing and it won't come out in one big clump. So we're gonna cook that as we're cooking the sauce. Now I'm sauteing the onions and now they're ready to go. So we're gonna dump the flour in, Joe. Okay. And it's one cup of flour. And this is gonna be our thickener. So it's gonna make a nice creamy cheese sauce for it. And we're going to stir it in good here to make sure everything's blended, the butter, flour, and onions for our base. All right, now that's ready to go. So we're going to put in four cups of milk, which this is something if you want to use a skim milk or something a little lighter, you can. But I prefer regular milk. All right, we'll just add in the chicken stock. Now we got to mix it up good, Joe. Okay. We want to get it so it's blended in together really well. All right, it's going to get a little bit warm, and now we want to get it ready because we're going to be ready to put the cheese in. Now we have to check our pasta, Joe. Okay. So we have to see how that's doing. I think it's just about done. I would say just another minute. So we're going to finish up on the sauce. A pound of Monterey Jack and cheddar mixed that we're going to add in. Can you use any kind of cheese or? Well, you do, I personally think you should use what you like. If you, like I like to make a mix of cheddar, Monterey, I think it gives it a little more flavor. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan, probably about a half a cup. Is this just for flavor too? That gives it the flavor. Instead of adding any salt into it, that's gonna give you a little bit of that salt bite that you need out of it. And then we'll just thicken it up. It's melting nice in there. In about a minute, we're going to add the pasta. It's just about ready. So Joe's going to help me here. And how do you like your pasta? I like it, especially for this, you want to make sure it's al dente. Yep. Because you're going to be baking it some, and you don't want it to turn to mush. So we're going to strain the pasta. And then just give it a quick rinse. All right, he gives it a quick rinse. Now give, turn the water and give it a shake. Get the water off of it. Okay. All right, now back dump in. it back in the pot. Yep. Some good looking pasta. Thanks, Joe. All right, now we're going to put the grilled chicken in. Could you use any kind of meat for this? Yeah, I mean, you can use ham, you can use bacon, you can be creative. I try to use some of our leftovers to give us a little something extra once in a while because the guys really like Nothing grilled chicken best. and they love broccoli. So we're going to mix this in and then we're going to add the sauce. You want to add the sauce, Joe? I'd love to. You add the sauce. 
And I'm going to work on the breadcrumb topping that I use, which is a cup of Ritz crackers, two ounces of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of paprika, just a pinch to give it a color. And then we're going to give it a quick little blend. And that's it. Now we're going to dump the cheese sauce in. It's nice and thick. That is thick. You want to grab a rubber spatula over there, Joe? Yeah. You can scrape it out. You want a real nice hearty macaroni and cheese. Yeah, this is thick stuff. So when it bakes in. All right. All right. Now we're going to put that over. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce for flavor. And what does that do? It just gives it a little bit of an extra bite to it that I like on it. And then we're just going to mix it up really good. It's starting to look real good. I'm getting hungry. And then you can pour it in. You want me to pour it? Or I'll well, spoon. you spoon it and I'll pour it. How's that? Love spooning. Teamwork. You, so, like oh. mix it all up good. <laughs> Um, remember that time you didn't know my name when I was uh, initially a brother, Dano? Yeah, well, you forget that I have to remember there's 60 guys here, so it's not easy to remember who everyone is. I come in, you just call me kid for <laughs> six months. And I did. I lied a little bit. That's good. Yeah, okay. All right, now we're putting our toppings on the macaroni and cheese. We're going to put it in a 400-degree oven for approximately 15 minutes. You want to brown it nice on top and let it get nice and thick inside. We're going to come back and make chicken francais, but Joe has to leave us because I think he's got to go to class. So thanks for all the help, Joe. No problem, man. And maybe next time. Yeah, I'll be making it next time. <laughs>